April, this is Mike. Are you in position yet? Mike! April? Come in! Damn it! I told you guys this was a bad idea! She'll be here! We can take out those tower guns now if me and my crew circle right and- No! I'm gonna find another way in. Lay down suppression fire and wait for my signal. And drop smoke. Lots of smoke. Uh, but we- Now, Casey! Yes, Sensei. You heard him! Focus your fire on the two gun towers. Let's see if we can take those bastards out from here. We're two pins down. Gotta find a way in, or we're all gonna die on this damn beach! Stupid, stupid plan. And here comes the security. Easy. Too easy. Don't get cocky, Mike. Intruders. Let me guess. More imbecilic thugs looking for junk to pawn? Eliminate them, now. Halt! What, what the, the holy hell? Prepare to be eliminated. Alright, you soulless freak. Let's find out if you're just as nasty. On the inside. Don't, Don't get, get cocky, cocky, huh? Right. right. Eliminate the intruder. Stuck. Don't worry, boss. I got these two. I thought I told you to stay put. You did. I didn't. Terrible discipline. Excellent initiative. Don't do it again. Understood? Yes, Sensei. I'm learning. Ha! Ha! Her technique's decent. Ha! But she's developed some bad habits. Be interesting to see what she can do with ten years of real training. Yeah, except we don't got ten years. I wonder why she cut her hair. I don't know about her hair, Don. But if she's gonna be fighting regardless, it's time to find out what she's willing to learn. Well, besides getting your cardio in, that was just about useless. Whoa! I uh, didn't hear you come in. Sneaky ninja, remember? You ever fight anyone skilled with that garbage? Hey! I got skills. Never had some ninja master to show me nothing, and I still kick ass all over this city. Okay. Show me. Hit me as hard as you can. Now! Wait. What? Figures. Nothing but a child pretending to be a warrior. Child? <sighs> Hi! Good thing you yelled first, or you might have completely caught me off guard. Dodge this! Yawn. Your legs are weak. Slow. But not as slow as your fists. Uh. Which allowed me all the time in the world uh. to do that. I wouldn't get up if I were you. Uh. You were warned. Ah. Looks like we have a plan this time. Okay. White belt quality kick. Hi! <laughs> okay. Maybe yellow belt. Nice push. Got anything to back it up? I'll show you. Show me what? How to miss your opponent again? Back to square one. Boom! That move only works in the movies. Or on people without training. This is neither. You're wasting energy. Uh. Running on fumes. Very tired. And you're done. Uh, never! Uh. Please feel free to take this time to think about how you could have done all that differently. Take it easy on the bricks. They're pretty old. 
you would know. What was that? Okay, ow, okay, I give! That's not the point. To give up. Even the greatest of warriors can't punch their way out of every confrontation. Sometimes it pays to be subtle, fluid, elusive. Avoiding strikes rather than delivering them. Let your enemy wear themselves out. That way, you remain in control. Got it! You made your point. Are we done here? Yeah, I guess. Wait. No! That's not what I'm saying. Or trying to say. Look, the point is, I don't know you and you don't know me. But you're practically family and... And you need a teacher. You have skills, but a lot to learn. Too much to learn. And I might be willing to teach you, but it's my way or the highway. No back talk. No attitude. I tell you what to do, and you do it. Got it? Like seriously, no bull? You'll teach me like, like a real teacher? It's sensei. Right, a sensei. Okay, right, good. We'll, uh, we'll start first thing tomorrow. Thank you, Michael. Um, Sensei. Yeah, no problem. Now, um, get a haircut. Ha! Haircut. Good one. Get a haircut? Seriously? I'm such an idiot. Well, I think Splinter would be very proud of you, Sensei. April! I was just... I, I... How long were you watching? Long enough. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't overstep my bounds. She's a good kid, and I don't want her to get... I mean... I want to help somehow. It's just that... Time is always short. (laughs) Life is short. What you just did... Well, it's more than I could have hoped for. Splinter was there for all his sons, all of us, everyone he thought of as family, until the very end. Casey Marie's only had me, and I can only do so much. She's tough, she has her dad's courage, my brains, but she needs something more. A place to direct her skills, soothe her anger, so thank you. And Speaking of Splinter, you never finished telling me what happened in Japan, Mikey. I... I need to know. I know. I'm sorry. It... It still hurts so much. Everything does. But your family... You should know. Once the plane landed in Japan... I ditched ditched the cargo cargo hold and made my way out of the airport airport without being seen, and headed for the countryside and to Clan Hamato. I didn't have much to go on. A crappy map and some stories Master Splinter told us about the clan's village over the years. All I knew for sure was that's where I'd find Father and Donnie, and that I needed to move fast. But the snow was blinding. And after a while, I was pretty sure I was completely lost and ready to give up. When I saw lights in the distance, it was the first sign of life for miles, and I was praying they could help. Suddenly, I was completely surrounded by warriors. Samurai from their weapons and their dress. The real deal. I told them who I was. Michelangelo. Son of of Master Master Splinter Splinter of Clan Clan Hamato. They They just just grunted grunted and pointed towards the village. The village village turned out to really be a massive massive compound. One of the the elders elders was there, waiting waiting for me. I quickly told him who I was, why I was there. He just just stared at me with sad sad eyes for what seemed like forever before he finally spoke. 
I am Master Shinichiro of Clan Hamado. Please follow me. We will speak further inside. Inside, I asked again. Practically begged. Please! Where are my father and brother? I knew my outburst went against all the proper decorum Master Splinter had taught us over the years. But, like I told you before, I was desperate. Master Senichiro just remained silent, avoiding my eyes. Then... There are people, creatures, teachers, warriors, heroes, and legends. Your father, Master Splinter, was all of these. Master Shinichiro, it is good to see you, my old friend. It has been far too long. You remember my son, Donatello? Of course. Greetings to you both. I look forward to a long and detailed chat once we have concluded the business at hand. Ah yes, the business of peace. I remain cautiously optimistic regarding young Master Hiroto's sincerity in this long overdue endeavor. As do I. Hopeful yet vigilant. Thankfully, our scouts have found no signs of deceit by the Foot Clan. Father, I'd like to radio Leo and the others. Let them know we got here okay. Indeed, my son. Perhaps Master Shinichiro can help with that. Certainly. We have shortwave radios you can use for that purpose, Donatello. I will make it so. Ah. <sighs> there is no place on Earth with air as sweet as this. I miss it very much. As we miss having you here, Splinter Sun. And we will properly celebrate your return home soon, old friend. But first... We have peace talks to attend. I hope Oroku Hiroto chose this location out of ignorance and not malice. A resting place for the dead definitely wouldn't be my first choice. Agreed. But as stated, our reconnaissance revealed no Foot Clan deception. Greetings and welcome! I am Ambassador Hara of the Foot Clan, at your service. Master Hiroto sends his warmest wishes and kindest regards. We assumed the young master would be leading the delegation. Yes, an incredible display of bad faith. Oh, no, not at all. Master Hiroto, he is overseeing the final preparations for the grand feast we will enjoy once the agreement has been confirmed. I'm sure he's on his way here now for a proper greeting and completion of the ceremony. But I, I notice you are all armed. <laughs> that was one of the conditions of the gathering, <laughs> to celebrate peace with no weapons. I do not recall agreeing to that. But these are merely ceremonial. Decorations, if you will. Regardless, we shall stand over here until your master arrives. Then we will conclude our business. No, wait, uh, please. Let us finalize the terms now, before Master Hiroto arrives. After all, we're all here for the same reason, yes? We shall wait. Please be reasonable. We, we are humble servants of our master. We only seek peace. Thus do we. This war has lasted generations. A few more minutes will not matter. Ha! So, the prodigal mutant returns. Welcome home, rat. Or should I say, pitiful deluded fool. How easy it was to get you here, only for you to learn you've wasted your life and that of your disgusting mutant spawn on a thread of false hope. Tell me, Rodent, have you heard anything from your family in New York? <laughs> Aye. 
Oroku Hiroto, while you still breathe, you will call me Master Splinter. I call you Hellbound, where the rest of your revolting family awaits. Grand Warriors of the Foot Clan, attack! No mercy, my son. Make them pay for this treachery with their blood. We should have never trusted him. Another Oroku liar. I would not have brought a weapon if I trusted him. And even at their worst, Hirato's predecessors always acted with honor. Let us teach this young upstart what that means. Kill them! If you choose not to stand aside and allow me access to your master, I will cut my own path. These guys are seriously lacking discipline. But not numbers. Superintendent Sandy is right. Do not let your guards down. Fine. Addition by subtraction then. Indeed. Gah, bastards! Keep pressing forward, my son. Skill will decide the outcome today. Why is this taking so long, General Yama? These are our best warriors? My lord, please be patient. We have far superior numbers. This battle will be ours. Bah! Shut up, you old fool. To hell with your patience. Bring up the archers. Master Shinichiro, Senji is down. Leave him. Go, get the others. Hear me, rat. Heed the last words you will ever hear. Your time is through. As is your family's, in New York City, and here, on this battlefield. Everyone you have known and loved is gone. All dead! Then I have nothing left to lose. Come, boy. Face me like a true warrior. Come meet your ultimate fate at my blade, like your grandfather before you. Father, the archers. Maybe we should pull back, regroup. Master Hirato, no, wait! You wait, General, for my command to unleash my archers. I would see this filthy rodent exterminated, up close and personal. Dismount, man-child. I will have your head. No, splinter son. This battle is no longer ours to win. We must retreat and live to fight another day. Prepare to die. Monsters. No, you will not escape my sword, treacherous coward! Father, no. Archers, fire! For my family! Father, behind me! My son! Uh. Super Eater! No. Reinforcements! Grand Hamato! Rain Hell! Master Hirato, with me! Quickly! Underhand me, Oyama! The... Uh, armor took the brunt of the strike. I will cut the rodent with his own... sword. The rat is finished, Master! And so is this battle! We have lost our advantage! Good! Retreat! There are people, creatures, teachers, warriors, heroes, and legends. Your father, Master Splinter, was all of these. As was your brother, Donatello. We could not save them, Michelangelo. I am truly sorry. And so, I had my answers. I came seeking the last of my family, only to find all that was left to me were ashes, my brother's blood-stained bow staff, and my father's journal. I was too late, and now I was alone. Master Sinjiro offered to let me stay there with the clan. But seeing all the brave warriors surrounding me only reminded me of everything I'd lost. 
It was too much to handle, so I respectfully declined the kind invitation, turned towards the mountains, and I just started walking. As the last of my kind, a ronin. That is when I decided the feud must end. I would follow Father's journal, train, and complete the mission we were intended to from birth. All Oroku must perish. If I'd known you were alive, it might have been different. But the mission would still be the same. I'm sorry. Don't, Mikey, please. There's... There's no way you could have known. And the rest? <laughs> I understand what needs to be done. You're here now. That's what counts. And the way Case Maria has taken to you, it's so amazing to watch. I never thought she'd be able to connect with someone the way she has with you. You sure about that? Seems like our connection is by design. Your design. What? What, what are you saying? When were you going to tell me about Casey's extra abilities, April? Why would you keep that away from me? I wasn't keeping it away. Not exactly. You didn't inject her, did you? Hell no. You know me better than that. I would never do that to my child. I have run thousands of tests since she was born looking for the origin. <sighs> As, as far as I can tell, trace amounts of mutagen DNA were passed on from her birth parents, who happened to have nearly lifelong exposure to it from the company they kept. Wait. Seriously? Us? We contaminated all of you? You didn't know. We all didn't know. Look, she's basically normal in all aspects other than strength and speed. And her healing ability, all of which have increased with age. Which is why I wanted samples of your blood. Does she know? She's aware she's different, but I haven't told her everything. Not yet, at least. But soon. Until then, I need you to keep this between us, okay? Yeah, sure. Our secret. Thank you. Now, I need to get some food in me. And gallons of caffeine. Come on, we'll talk in the kitchen. I have some friends coming over I want you to meet. Friends? What friends? You're serious. Not only does Stockman have his own fortress, it's on his own island? Yeah, Roosevelt Island. East River. I'm sure I mentioned that. No, you didn't. I would have remembered that. <sighs> Whatever. Go on, Commander Avalon. Okay. We have rafts with cloaking devices to get the squads in position on the island's shoreline, completely unseen. And we have years of surveillance. He has security, but it's fairly limited. I honestly think he thinks no one would be crazy enough to mount a serious attack. Everyone, stay down! Keep firing on those gun towers! Stockman's got every damn square inch of this beach zeroed in! Yeah, but we're sitting ducks if we don't get moving. What's the plan now, since? Alert. Your Highness, there are dozens of life forms converging on the security wall. I suggest you... Bah! Annoying flies. Nothing more than useless thugs. My guardians will deal with them. It doesn't matter if Stockman thinks it's serious or not. We don't know what kind of soldiers or weapons he has to repel an attack. And what if he calls in Hiroto's whole army of idiots? <laughs> Trust me, there is no love lost between Stockman and Hiroto. They both consider each other annoying necessities to their sick schemes. Stockman's only going to ask the foot for help as a last resort, if even then. Which should buy us the time we need to take control of the situation. Once our teams hit the beach, 
They'll lay down suppression fire from various key positions, so Stockman won't know which direction the real threat is coming from. We have our own direct communication set up, so we'll be able to keep tight with all our movements as the rest of the plan comes together. We got nothing but static! We're working blind! We got this, Sensei. Everyone knows their objectives. Right. You're right. Listen up! The main doors are too heavily armored! Our second objective's 100 yards that way! Follow Casey and throw everything you have for covering fire! Let's roll! At this point, we should be clear to blow the main doors on the south side, and the smaller ones on the north, east, and west sides, since we'll have completely overwhelmed any exterior guards or remaining robot defenses. There's too many of them! Pull back for a clearer line of fire with the heavier weapons. There's no way we can take out the doors now. With the gun towers knocked out and each of the key doors blown, half of each squad will be ready to go through the doors, while the rest head over the top. If there are any difficulties with the doors, we have secondary wall breach options here, here, and here. Damn it! We've lost too many to those tower guns! We're running out of options! What should we do? Spread out and keep the suppression fire up. I'm gonna go deal with those guns. And then we'll figure another way in. Let me come with you. No! You need to protect and guide your crew. And keep trying to reach your mother! With all the teams inside the compound at this point, we'll drop in and support all ground teams, as well as make sure we cut enough of them power systems. In order to repel a counterattack while we complete phase two, Mrs. Jones will pick up the briefing from here. Damn it! Airborne sitting ducks for the remaining gun towers! Stupid attack plan! Stupid! This should help them get on the ground. Now to figure out how to keep this from becoming a complete massacre. Get down in the courtyard! And take positions! With everything knocked out as Commander Zavalon and Zaragoza laid out, I'll be rolling through the main gates in the AFV, heading straight for the largest generator. We're gonna need all available power to reactivate the Fugitoid, which should enable us to talk directly to Professor Honeycutt, access Stockman's network, and take full control from there. Your Majesty, I respectfully request you reconsider heeding the security alert. If you would just look at the monitors, you'd- Yes, yes, I see. A bit more going on out there than I thought. Damage to several centuries and gun towers. Not a bunch of thugs looking for scraps to sell, as I suspected. Wonder if Hiroto put on his big boy pants this morning, and is trying a power play. Bah! Fire up and send out the mousers. That will put an end to this foolishness. And let me get back to my work. Master Hiroto. We are receiving multiple reports of gunfire and explosions on Roosevelt Island. Crazy old Baxter. Maybe he'll blow himself up this time. Leave me. I'm working. Wait. On second thought, send a squad over to make sure he's not blowing himself up. At least until I know his tech is secured. Since Stockman's designed and built all of Harado's systems and foot army, I'm confident we can find a backdoor to everything and finally take back this city. And if we can't wake Honeycut up? Plan B. We blow as much of the place up on our way out and start the fight all over again the day after. I don't, I don't like, like it. it. This is so not good, bro. He's right. Too many variables. Yeah. It stinks. But they're gonna attack with or without you. And I can't let them die. Mousers! A lot of them. This is all the explosives that made it. You ready? Fire in the hole! There's too many. Can't EMP all of them. It's do or die time, April. Crap! Not enough! Come on, Mom! Where the hell are you? What the? Look who I found! Sorry, I got hung up across the river. Got stuck on the bottom. By the way, did I ever tell you how much I friggin' hate mousers? Get in, we're going inside. I hacked in long enough to locate the mainframe. We need to get Honeycut there. No. 
you open the door, we'll be right behind you. Casey, follow your mom tight with the team and I'll take the rear. I want to make sure there's no other surprises out here. Alright, but hurry. Hiroto's gotta be hip to us now. Clock's ticking! My readings are off the charts. The main power source and mainframe are right through here. Who the hell? Stop them! Let's go, Professor Honeycutt. We have a world to change. We've only got one shot to do it. Just need to make space and... In you go! Now! Lots of power! Honeycutt? Here? Fire everything! Kill them all! But bring me that robot head! Come on, Professor, you've been in the dark too long! They're gonna kill us if you don't- Stockman's throwing everything he has at us! Watch your backs! Come on, Honeycutt! It's now or never! What do you think you're doing? Saving the world. But first... <coughs> this is for my husband. Damn woman. I nearly felt that. <coughs> I'll finish you all off momentarily. But not before I secure my prize. You... shall... not... pass. What... did you say? You shall not pass. No, stop. You shall pay for my family, for my friends, for everything. Goodbye, Satan Honeycutt. Thank you. Everything's powering down! Baxter's dead. The nanobite swarm, Honeycut, is in control now. I'm getting word that it's happening all over the compound. And starting to affect the city, too. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this, Linda. Everything's shutting down. Even the foot cops. This is impossible. I have control of the power grid and stop gaps all over the system. Get Stockman on the line, right now! We no longer have communication linked to the island, Master Hiroto. We've been blocked out of all his systems. A virus of some kind. Everything is offline. Sound a full tactical alert. I want everyone and everything with a weapon in this tower. Now! And I want Stockman standing in front of me within the hour. For rock bottom! Hiroto's next, the bum. Whoa. I think we won. The battle, not the war. And not at a price I'm willing to pay anymore.